Why am I like this? I'm disgusting. <laughs> Don't test me. Well, that was satisfying. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. It's nice to meet you, my name's Susie. Spring has sprung and I've just gotten my first ounce of serotonin for the year. So I think it's time to do a declutter or spring cleaning, whatever you wanna call it. Last time I did a declutter, a proper like deep clean declutter was about a year ago. So I thought it was very fitting that we do one now, a year later. Yes, I haven't cleaned my room since. Where I live is in lockdown right now and the lockdown just got extended. So it means I'm gonna be spending a lot more time at home. I need to clean my space or I may have a mental breakdown. Could be having one right now, not quite sure. I just want my head to be clear, my space to be clear. I'm so excited for this, I have goosebumps. So this room I'm in is my filming room and this isn't really the problem. This room is the problem. I'm gonna start with the least intimidating thing first and for me that's the bathroom I think there's the least stuff in here what we need to tackle is my trolley hello guys Susie from the future here I just wanted to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video which is Skillshare they are an online learning community with thousands of classes for curious and creative people like you and I. A class I've joined lately, which has helped me with my decluttering journey is Everyday Minimalism by Erin Boyle. I like that the class is not all about just being one of those extreme minimalists. It's about making minimalism work for you. Skillshare has no ads because it is curated specifically for learning and they are always launching new premium classes. They have classes of every skill level if you're a beginner if you're an expert at it they have a class for you when you join Skillshare you can also try out one of their live classes and you can connect with the teacher in real time most importantly Skillshare offers membership with meaning so you can connect with the support of fellow creatives and connect with a community of encouragement communication and inspiration the first a thousand people to click the link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare if you guys love of creativity like me you are going to love Skillshare. Thanks again to Skillshare and let's get back to the video. Epsom salt I use but this is my Epsom salt for my dog. This is this body shimmer oil that I made out of an old highlighter but I've never used it. Oh, oh god it feels horrible. I'm already overwhelmed. This is also a nostalgic smell thing that I kept. This doesn't bring back good memories though. This was when I was in my dating bad boys phase. Oh, oh my God, my legs. That body oil made my arms itchy. Oh my God, it just takes me back though. Like I'm 14, I'm at a pool party. I'm wearing board shorts because I'm too scared to wear bikinis yet. Oh. give myself a 15 minute. My grandma always told me that the first thing you should do when you clean your room is make your bed because it just makes the whole room seem so much less overwhelming. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, one of my nails literally just flicked off. Is that God telling me not to clean my room right now? I think so. <sighs> After my first setback, I decided to bring reinforcements in the form of Murray and we started on my active wear, which is by far my biggest collection of clothing. So we threw it all onto the bed and by we, I mean mostly Murray, because I managed to slink off when he wasn't watching. Work smarter, not harder girls. And here is all of my beloved gym wear. I think I need to cut down a little bit. If I have things that I've had for a while and I haven't worn yet, I will give those to my friends. Okay, Murray, can you take a thumbnail of me? First, I'm gonna start by sorting everything into sports bras, tops, and leggings. So then I can see how much I have of each item. There's an eyelash 
brush on this. Stick it on the wall. Yeah. Little did I know that eyelash will stay there for two weeks. The prophecy begins. I think I've significantly reduced the amount of active wear I have, so now it's time to put it back into the drawers. Mary Kondo's quaking right now. One week and a lot of procrastination later. My friends on the internet talk to me more than my real. This is all of the gym clothes that I'm getting rid of. One week and a lot of procrastination later. It's now a few days later, about a week later actually. Everything's messier than it was in the first. Why am I like this? This is the damage in my filming room. It's really not that bad in here. The main issue is my bedroom, but I've decided I'm going to start with the less intimidating thing. I got myself some energy drinks to try out. I thought I'd try every single flavor of Monster sugar-free. Mmm, that's pretty damn good. This has 13 calories in this whole can. What could they possibly put in this that is only 13 calories? Like, is that not so concerning? I hope this is motivating you all. I feel so motivated. Let's do this. This is what it's looking like in here, looking pretty good. All of my makeup is put back in its spot. Now that that is all done, it is time to tackle my bedroom. And here is the state of my bedroom. Stunning! Yeah, so my bedroom is 10 times worse than it was the last time you saw it. And if you're wondering what this is, my plant fell off from that windowsill. All of the soil went everywhere and I haven't cleaned it up because I'm disgusting. <laughs> How did my room get this bad? It's mental illness in it, love. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my bed and then on top of my bed, I'm gonna put everything that's on the floor. I think I'm gonna sort out my dirty side table because this is a problem. I also did just spill Monster Energy drink on it. I have some fake nails on here, some crystals, antihistamine, a hair tie, and some nail glue. Now that is a hot girl side table. This just pulls off. So I'm gonna go and chuck this outside. Ah, look how much better that is. I hate me. I haven't been recording. <laughs> Basically what I've been doing is just grabbing everything off of the bed that is needing to get hung up and hanging it up.
everything clean from the bed is gonna go in this basket and then everything dirty is going in a pile over here. Then my head hit the wall. Boom! I'll tell you because no! I'm gonna figure out what things are dirty by smelling them. No, thank you. Why do you want to smell my clothes? Because it's not necessarily gonna be same time. You just gotta tell me. Just smell it. How long does it take to put a bloody jumper up, Susie? Don't test me. Ugh. Enough to me. Ugh. I'm sure it really bad. Now I'm going to clean this bit up here. I've been looking for this necklace for like six months. I've decided that the eyelash has to stay there until my room is completely clean. That's my reward. I think that's enough for tonight. I know I've said that a lot. <laughs> good night, guys. Good night. Oh. <laughs> good night. One eternity later. It's a couple days later. I decided before I start on my room today, I want to screw some little hooks into the ceiling so I can hang my plants. That's what it looks like. I love it. I have this massive pile of clothes on my bed that I washed that I now need to fold. Hey, how are you going? Did you see Harry's movie? Trailer for it. Yeah. Skip it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so excited. Um, you stand alone. And then for the next hour, Molly and I just talked absolute bollocks on FaceTime and this is what my folding looked like at the end. Very satisfying. Here is my closet before. It is just absolutely random at the moment. Now it's time to organize my cupboard. Closet organization time. Yeah. Mm. Currently, half of my clothes are in my filming room. I thought it would probably be better if I had all of my clothes in my bedroom. I'm gonna go do that now. So here is the closet in my filming room. It had all of my dresses in it and I decided because it's going into spring in Australia, I would bring all of my dresses and skirts and everything into my bedroom and then put all of my winter stuff back into my filming closet. And I also got rid of some things in the process. This is what my closet looks like now. I've got all of my dresses organized. I think I should color code this, but I'm not in the mood to color code right now. That's just gonna be a lot. I have just pulled all of my shoes out because it is so dusty and disgusting. What is that? <gasps> it's a toenail. No. Well, that was satisfying. If you don't have one of these extendable shoe rack things, you are missing out. That is so satisfying. This is so much better than it was before. And now it's time to clean my junk drawer. This is where I put things that I have no idea where else to put this book, which I write down my finances in, the box for my AirPods, a little bag, ear spray. I'm gonna try figure this out and try and find spaces for all these things where it makes sense and hopefully not shove things in here in the future. <laughs> Oh, 
It is time for this, which I don't even want to, I don't even want to get into it. I'm going to move a lot of this stuff into my filming room because it makes more sense. And then I have some tops in my filming room that need to go into here. These are my wet wipes that I use to clean my armpits in the morning after I have night terrors. Kind of need one now, I'm not going to lie. That's a hot girl hack. I'm just gonna grab it all out and chuck it on my bed. Yeah. I'm just gonna wipe it down with my wet wipe that I just used for my pets. It's called being sustainable, okay? It's a lot later, if you couldn't tell. Words cannot describe how much this feels like it's like taken over my life. <laughs> I haven't done anything today except for this, but I'm finishing tonight. I know I've said that before, but seriously this time, I will not go to sleep until this is done. It's a couple days later, but can we just take a moment to look at how much better this side looks? not including that <laughs> this is all of my short sleeve shirts including singlets and this is all of my long sleeve shirts but now i'm just gonna fold all of these up i have folded all of the clothes that took so long and now my room is completely organized except my necklaces still need to go on a hanger but literally everything else is a hundred percent organized it's bathroom time <laughs> The thing that I have quite literally been putting off until the absolute last. My bathroom is messy 90% of the time because I just despise cleaning it. I'm gonna put on some funky music, get me into the mood to clean this bathroom and just go for it. bathroom is basically clean. I just need to wheel my trolley back in. And there it is. The last thing that I need to do is clean in the shower. I just need to give it all a scrub down. And I saw this hack on TikTok where you just get one of these brushes with a handle and hang it over the side of the shower. And then every once in a while, you can just give the shower a spray down before you get in and then give it a good scrub whilst you're actually naked and in the shower. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm not gonna show you obviously. <laughs> but then after that, we will do the final reveal of everything. It feels so good. It's finally done guys. This has taken me like two weeks to get everything done, but it feels amazing. If you do not have the motivation to clean, your room right now or your bathroom or anything, trust me, you are gonna feel so good after. Now my mirror selfies are gonna be flawless. Well, everything's done guys. And you know what that means I get to do? <sighs> the accountability eyelash that I've looked at every morning when I've woken up can now go in the bin because my room is clean. It feels like a massive weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I am so excited to go to sleep in a clean room, a clean bed. My headspace feels so clear. Honestly, guys, if you're thinking about cleaning your room and if you're watching this video to procrastinate cleaning your room, please go and clean it now for me. And mostly for yourself. 
because you are gonna feel so good afterwards, trust me. Every time I do a big clean like this, it doesn't get any easier to be honest, but it just feels so good every single time it's done. And of course, the bathroom. Oh, Jesus Christ, I always forget that that's there. Here is the bathroom. Also got a candle going. It smells so good in here. Also, ignore my leaning tower of toilet paper. I need to get a little toilet paper rack to put on the floor, but for now it can just sit there. Ah, look at that squeaky clean sink. And that is the end of me spring cleaning my room and bathroom. I feel so accomplished right now. So accomplished. I'm going to go to sleep. So happy tonight in my beautifully smelling, beautifully clean room. This was a challenge, but oh my God, was it so worth it? Go clean your damn room right now. I'm watching you. You better clean your room right after this video finishes. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I hope this motivated you to clean your room. If it did, comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like to let me know and also subscribe if you haven't already and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram at Susie J Todd. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.